Hi, I'm Terry Johnson, one of the co-creators of The Quirkles, and today I have a returning scientist with us. What's your name? Abigail. Abigail. And what grade are you going to be in next year, Abigail? Third. Third grade. And Abigail, do you like The Quirkles? Yeah. Yes, we like The Quirkles, don't we? And we love to do the science experiments, don't we? Well, today we're going to do a pressure peat experiment. I'm going to show you how you can really impress your friends. Now, on these hot days, we all need a nice bottle of water, don't we? Yeah. Yes, but what your friends maybe don't know is that you could turn your water bottle upside down and keep the water in the bottle. And the trick is with the water bottle and just a simple index card. All right, I'm going to take my water bottle, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to, voila! Ah, it looks like magic, but it's not. It's air pressure, okay. Abigail, let's try it, okay? Can you take your water bottle, we're gonna flip it over, and then Abigail, I'm gonna let you take it. Can you take it? All right. Voila! Oh my goodness, Abigail! How did you do that? Okay, so it's kind of like a balloon because there's like air pressure on the top. There's air it's on the top. Pulling up more than the water is pulling down. All right, very good, Abigail. She is a good scientist. The air pressure is pulling up more than it is pulling down, therefore keeping the water in place. You are an excellent scientist. And your friends will be really impressed. They'll say, oh, I didn't know you were magic, but it's not magic. It's science. Well, we're going to do another activity with air pressure with an air bag, a long air bag, and just some simple breaths from our lungs. It looks a lot easier than it is. Are you ready? We have a bag, and you can get a this bag from a diaper genie. And we're going to see how many breaths of air it will take to fill this bag. Abigail, this is a pretty long bag. How many breaths of air do you think it'll take to fill it? 30. Maybe 30. I'd say that's a pretty good guess, Abigail. Let's see, that's a good estimate, isn't it? Let's see, Abigail, start blowing. One, keep blowing. Two, three, okay, I'm gonna stop you before you hyperventilate. All right, well, you did pretty well with just those few blows. But Abigail, what if I told you that you could fill that bag with just one breath? I'm going to stand back about six, six inches from the back. Now you did what almost everybody does. 99.9% .9 of the people do exactly what you did. They want to put their mouth right over the bag. But where you get the greatest effect of air pressure is if you stand about six inches back and let the breath from your lungs and the breath from the side work together. Very similar to Bernoulli's principle, where lower air pressure moves faster. I'm going to try that. Count, count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, voila! One big breath of hot air. Now, would you like to try it? All right. Let's let Abigail try it. One, two, three. Oh, good job, Abigail. Very well done. Well, Abigail, you certainly have been a great scientist today, and we've had a lot of fun learning about air pressure, haven't we? All right, well check us some more videos out on Quirkles YouTube and on our website, quirkles.com. Thanks for joining us, say bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.